today we will be importing animations from Mixamo into Unreal Engine 4. If you do not know what Mixamo is, Mixamo is a library of animations available for free to download and use in your game projects or in any other projects you, you have. Uh, so today we'll be focusing on the steps that you need to take to get it from the website into your project and how to use them. So let's start with the first step. The first step is that we need to get a skeleton to use as a character on the website for it to map the animation towards. And we have an, an, a character available that is made in the same way as the skeleton in Unreal Engine 4, making the transition much easier. So first things first, we need to go to this Google Drive address download this Mixamo character and I will have a description for where to get this this character in the description down below the video. The next step is that we go to the Mixamo homepage. So this is the Mixamo homepage and you might be prompted to create a, an account here. Uh, so after you created an account, this is the page that you get to. And this is what the character looks like when you have uploaded it uh, for the first time. What you need to do is basically click on upload character. Then you find the character that you downloaded. So you just drag and drop it over here. And it will start mapping the character uh, against um, how it wants to apply animations basically the, the skeleton the bones inside and if everything goes well here we will get a sort of a preview showing a character moving around a little bit and if the character moves around fine without any distortions or anything like that it should have mapped properly so now we can see him, he's twisting, turning, you can see even his fingers are moving, everything, seem, everything seems to look just fine. So we'll click next. Alright, so the next part is to get an animation uh, from the web page. As you can see, there are a lot of them to choose from. If we were to make an estimation, you can see that there are showing 48 animations per page and there are 52 pages available. So that gives us approximately 2,500 animations available for us to use here. So it, it's quite a good resource to use. Um, if nothing else, tend to prototype uh, something that you're working on. And now we'll just search for something here. We'll go for maybe dance spin. We'll see this animation over here maybe. Looks nice. So we'll see a preview of what the animation will look like with this character. And it seems to look pretty good to me. So you have some options. You can trim the animation um, making it shorter according to your needs you can mirror it if you want to do that for some reason you can alter things like the arm space and that will uh, change how the animation will look because his arms will be further or shorter away from his body uh, overdrive is a uh, it's about speeding up the animation making it go faster or slower so the 50 is the middle ground at the normal speed. So once you found an animation or multiple animations that you like, you just click download and you let it be FBX binary with skin. Uh, none on keyframe reduction, frames per second is up to you, whichever you prefer. And then you just click download. Okay, we save those files. Let the download finish. Alright, moving on to our Unreal project. We'll make a folder. We'll call it 
to make some oh. it's just and good okay and from here we'll find the files that we downloaded and we can start off with the skeleton that we used on the web page we just drag and drop that in here Everything that needs to be set seems to be set here, I think. So, if your your importer looks like this, it should be good. Click import all. Let that finish. Now we do the same for the animation. Drop that in there. And like so. Make sure that we have the right skeleton chosen here. It should be the one that's matching this name. Import home. looks like if we put it in the world. So we'll click simulate. Looks good to me. Okay. So now that's just an animation plane, right? So that's all good and fine. But in the case that we had a bunch of animations and we wanted to retarget them so we have downloaded the Mixamo, we imported them towards this skeleton, but for some reason we want to retarget them for this other skeleton that we already are using in our project or something like that. What we need to do is we need to open up the skeleton for the Mixamo mannequin. And we need to do the same for the third person character. So he is over here. We can find his mesh, we can find his skeleton. Skeleton is over there. We open up that one. Okay. To be able to uh, retarget animations from basically the same skeleton to the same skeleton, we still need to have a medium of transport. So that is why we're using something called a rig. So let's dock these windows up here. We don't need that one. So the Mixamo mannequin, we go to Asset Details. Actually, I'm in the wrong place. We need to go to the skeleton. There we go. And from here, we need to go to Window, Retarget Manager. And here we have a Select Rig. And there's already a Humanoid Rig set up for us, so we can choose that one and it says it needs to be saved, so it's important that you save after having done this step. In addition to that, you need to make sure that you have a preview mesh selected here. We're doing the same for the mannequin skeleton, so we're going to it over here. We're opening up the retargeting manager here as well. Selecting the humanoid rig for this as well. Saving. And this one has a preview mesh skeleton as well. So everything is fine so far. So now we go back to the animation that we had to begin with. And we had that animation under Mixamo. It's this one called Soul Floor. So we just right click that one now. Retarget Anim Asset. And it will show a preview of the skeleton we're trying to retarget from. And we pick a, the other skeleton which represents the skeleton we want to retarget to. And it won't show up here unless we have made sure that we have done the previous steps about making sure that they're sharing the same rig and that they have an asset preview. So now that we have everything set here, we just need to retarget and it will make a copy of the animation. Control S to save it. Okay, so next step, 
to see if it works with our original skeleton, our original character. A quick way to do that is to find our character. We can go to details, we can go to animation and change it from using an animation blueprint just for our test here. We can choose animation assets, which will allow us to play a specific animation just to see what it looks like. And this should be the one that we have. So we'll simulate this, see what it looks like. Looks like it's pretty smooth. So everything seems to be looking good and the retargeting has been successful. So that is basically the, the procedure you need to go through to have an animation that you want uh, from Mixamo brought into the Unreal Engine and if you want to retarget it as well this is the step that you need to go through. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video leave a like, if you did not leave a dislike. If you have any comments, suggestions or anything you need help with just post it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Keep on learning. Take care.